Friday co-host, the Admiral Bill Stumblefield, two-star. Good morning, Rob. Notice how much brighter and clearer we look this morning? I'm telling you. Yeah. All because of Hornby. A little bit of Windex yeah. does an amazing <laughs> thing. Hornby came lenses. in and cleaned all the cameras, said you guys look cloudy and muddy and everything else. So whether we actually do or not made no difference. Well, he we, cleaned the cameras. We were being accused of, of being <laughs> shot with soft lenses to make us look younger. We had to take care of that rumor right away. Right. You can't believe everything you read on social media, Bill. <laughs> Anything, actually. <laughs> Anything, you know, that's for sure. <laughs> that is so true. When, when, am I, when are we going to get a rebuttal to Mike's week-long uh, uh, position that, uh, that the issues that Trump uh, spouses are better than the issues that Harris spouses? He's well, that's just the, the whole truth, week. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Mike just speaks the truth. You can't rebut that. That's one man's opinion. <laughs> that, uh, the chorus of voices belong to our second co-host, Mr. Michael Hornby. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, am I no star? Is that? Can I get that? What would you like to be? No star, Mike. No star, yeah, Mike. Yeah. I like For it today. You since he's two it. star, yeah. I don't <laughs> want to be any stars. He's got his two stars. He, he earned them. Thanks, Hornby. <laughs> They're on, they're on the shoulder. Also, yeah. let's welcome in the mayor of the city of Martinsburg, Kevin Knowles. It's moving day for the city. Kevin, good morning. Good morning. I, I didn't know Windex came from the lips. <laughs> <laughs> spit shine, baby. Spit shine. Yep. Elbow grease and spit shine. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, you got the moving clothes on today? Yeah, well, we're, we're in the process as we speak. Uh, moving City Hall from uh, our, our spot up there in, uh, in the in the, the uh, strip mall up there by the Holiday Inn, and uh, we should be in uh, hopefully next week, uh, all ready to go. We've closed for a couple days for doing business so that we can concentrate on moving everything and getting everything in place. And and it's, uh, you know, uh, you know the, there's still no front door on City Hall. They're putting it in today, so we're right down to the wire. Nice, uh, nice, chilly, brisk yeah, morning so to not have a front door. Yeah, well, it's a, thank God they have it boarded up a little bit, but... That should be in today, and, and uh, you know we have 900 crates that we that we have to move, and you know we did hire a, a moving company to do that, and and the the staff is uh, all anxious to get into the new digs. It's been a long time since we've had our presence in the downtown, and and we're looking forward to getting back to interacting uh, a little more on a regular basis than than what's been happening over the last year and a half. Are you literally filling some boxes yourself and? carrying them to city well, hall and, and that's why one of the reasons why I, I thought i might not be here is i uh, yes i had to fill my boxes and and I, I got some of my stuff down there early so that i can break away to, to come on the show here did you ever work as a mover when you were younger oh yes i did i thought uh, i remembered a few Clar stories clarence heil with heil's moving this guy he, he was 89 years old and and he'd strap a refrigerator on his back and go up three flights of stairs and i he was just a bull. You know, Bill uh, did that the other day when we, I had trouble getting in the front door. He put me on his back, carried me up the two steps into the front door. Yeah. yeah. Two stars, two steps. Yeah. Bill Stumble. I, I don't envy any of those guys. I mean, it, that was when I was very young. and, and uh, You're, you're paying for it now, I bet. A lot, well, I, I paid for a lot of things that I did young or now. <laughs> don't we all? Yeah. Yeah. Right. When is the move to be completed? It, it, we'll, we'll be in there Tuesday. Completely? Completely in yes. So actually, all all of the uh, every, everything should be hooked up, hopefully today. And, and of course, we're, everybody's off on uh, Monday due to the holiday. But, right. Uh, Tuesday, what Tuesday will the morning. new city hall offer that the previous city hall did not? Well, uh, the other well, previous to this city hall was basically all on the second floor. We housed the police department on the first floor. Uh, so we moved the police department out, built the facility, the judicial center for them, and and now this opens up space for people to come in and they can do business on the first floor. So you can, you don't have to get up, go upstairs to to uh, pay your bills and everything. Everything is going to be on the first floor. Anybody coming in to do business for um, contractors or any kind of building uh, used to have to go up into these really small uh, corner offices uh, to talk to planning and, and, and the code enforcement. So they'll be all on the first floor. So all the activity will be on the first floor, and, and the second floor is, is just um, administration, human human resources, um, the our executive assistant, our recorder, uh, the mayor, the city council, and the city manager and assistants. So it'll be one shop shopping for every everything dealing with the city will be now. And, 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 it, and it was like that before, but yeah. it's going to be on all, yeah. all the stuff you could do is on the first floor. It makes it a lot more accessible for people than 
either climbing stairs or taking an elevator. Now, for clarification, Kevin, I thought I'd heard that you were going to be closed next week to unpack and to get everything sorted out. But you're saying now that you'll be open for business as early as possible next Wednesday? That That is possible. I don't have the exact dates, so but you can follow it on uh, Facebook and our, and our website to see exactly when we are going to be uh, closed and when we'll be open. Now all I ask is the citizens to you know, bear with us for a little bit. It's, it's a, uh, a huge undertaking, one, to, to refurbish the building, two, to, to do the move and have uh, all of our employees, you know, 30, or 30 or 35 employees in that office to, uh, to, to move everything and get everything in place. So, Kev, congratulations. First of all, I think the building looks great from the outside, from what I've seen. Uh, can you tell us what the renovation cost and how you got the funds to get that the renovation done? Well, I, you know, uh, that's a good question, Mike, and I don't have that, that the total number. Uh, I know Ballpark? That, I, I want to say it has to be within the 12 to $15 million mark to, to do that. But, uh, again, I... I, I, that's not anything that I have in front of me right now. I know that we, it, it, it's such a long time ago that we made those uh, decisions to do it that I, uh, I wasn't prepared to gotcha. bring that to you today. But I, I could definitely get back to you on that and let you know what the, what that. And it, was it a bond or a loan or? No, or? Uh, no, we don't. Uh, one thing about the city is we 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 like to be self sufficient and not have to go for funding and. Uh, well, this is money that has been put aside for years. Every year we put a little bit aside for uh, for those improvements, and, and uh, we did that also for the Department of Public Works, which is a, another uh, new building that's uh, uh, coming near to completion. Uh, I think that started much, much later than uh, the uh, City Hall, but that should be completed, completed uh, this time uh, early winter. Where's that located, Kevin? Uh, do you remember where the old um, restore was for Habitat? Yes, yes. Right yes. behind that. We bought that uh, property. So that's what's going in there. Yeah. And, 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 and you could drive from there. If you're, if you're familiar where, where Department of Public Works has been for years, it's really just a one big garage. And, yeah. And, uh, you know, for us to continue to, to offer the services that we have, we had to do a lot of upgrades. So uh, we, we were able to build build that building also and um, – uh, now they'll they'll have uh, both of those buildings in operation, and then when you see that, I mean it's in a perfect spot because, uh, you know, when we expand our trail system and and take over and and, and do things around Lake uh, Lake Thomas, they're situated right there, uh, right off of Lake Thomas, so uh, it'd be easily to to maintain and so we're 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 always planning for the future, you know that. Uh, you know, we always look when we're going to do a project or anything, and we look 5, 10 years, 15 years down down the road to, to see what our, our needs going to be uh, if, not if, when we get to that next phase of what we're trying to do uh, within the city. And is the stormwater uh, project, that's pretty much uh, complete now, the one from Monument to Lake Thomas, is that right? <laughs> I think there's still a little bit of work that they're doing, but... Uh, there's no more road closures as, as far as I understand. I don't know if I really don't know if John Street under okay, the bridge the is closed. One. The side one, that one might be closed under the bridge because of work they're doing. But now Porter Avenue and, and King Street are open, and, and all the other streets are open. And and I, I have to tell you that uh, going by there, it looks like a whole new different neighborhood. It you know, looks with the new unbelievable. Yeah, I mean it, that, that. And and what we're noticing is uh, the homeowners are, are fixing up. And doing a lot of work there, and it's it's really bringing that that, that part of the that area back to life, and it, and we're we're very excited about it. Have you had any further security concerns at the meetings, Kevin? No, we have not. Uh, actually, uh, last night we had the uh, the junior league, junior little league state champs there last night, and had a nice event, and um, we have not had any any concerns. We're always, of course. We're prepared as best as you can be for anything, but uh, uh, we are we are working uh, every day and, and seeing if there's any any other ways that we we can do to enhance that. But uh, we haven't had anything uh, anything pop up or anything come in our direction to make us feel like we're in danger at this point. Was the one event a one-off? I'd like to believe that. 
you know, uh, but you can't so you discount it. Yeah. We want to make sure that everybody's, you know, safe. So we, we've made some changes in, to, in, to help people come into the council. And, and, and then, you know, we also, with the, with the new city hall, you know, there's, there's going to be a process for people to come mm -hmm. through. And, and uh, so we're, we're at the state of the art when we get inside there. So uh, I think we'll be fine. Kevin, what's the next big renovation or building project you have in mind? Well, you know, there's always talk about uh, a firehouse, another firehouse. And, you know, we're, we have not purchased any land yet. And uh, there is some land we're looking at possibly that, that a, uh, an individual may want to donate for that purpose. And, uh, Are we talking on the west side, Kev? Is that what? Yeah, up, yeah, up, to, up there by uh, the gallery and all that. The gallery, yeah. That's a, but uh, nothing, nothing solid. But that's that's something that we're we're always forefront because uh, it's important that we're able to uh, uh, continue to grow in, in that uh, uh, the, the the services that we provide for the this for the city and the fire department, the EMS. So now we talked about this yesterday with Mary Beth Blair, and that has to do with the changing of the parade route for the Apple Harvest Festival Grand Feature Parade. Can you address the reasons for the change, Kevin, and anything you want to talk about with the route? We didn't change the route. We offered suggestions, and they took the suggestion based on uh, the cost, that's all. But the city did not change the route. This is interesting because nobody's claiming credit for changing well, the route. It, 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 the route is changing because we're going straight down. You're on the board, right? I'm on the board, yeah. yeah. And I've discussed this with Kevin. I think it's a great change. I, I really do. I think it's going to be great for the city, great for the parade. Um, the cost to do the route the way it was was a lot higher. Mm -hmm. um, Why? Why, Mike? Because the city has to provide all the police officers, all the garbage trucks to, to block the other streets, right? Uh, trying to get through town is extremely hard right now with the, the way the route is. Uh, the way I look at it is we we pay to, to close off the well, we uh, Apple Harvest pays to close off the streets, but the city actually gives us a grant back um, in, in the amount that, that, that the city couldn't just said, listen, we would prefer it does this, because this is the cost that it does for the current route. It made sense to me. It, and it just comes down to that. I don't think it was a uh, a huge fight between anybody or a huge, hey, you have to do it this way. It was a, hey, this is the way we suggest it goes. And I think it's going to be positive for the for Yeah, the and folks. I would, again, make that clear. The, the city did not tell anybody that that's the route that they had to take that was a suggestion based on finances and they were they took the suggestion and went with it so it was a mutual mutual conversation in my book it was, it was it, i mean it was a hard discussion but i agree with kevin the ones of us that wait a second can you uh, <laughs> can, can we mark that down bill <laughs> yeah the, uh, the, 8 to 21 a.m yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I missed yesterday's show, so I do not know where the new route is. I don't want to rehash it's all of yesterday. Just straight down, uh, straight down King Street, making a right on Queen and going past the high school. So oh, is it, that right? Okay. It's just, okay. So you don't go the uh, you don't the do northern the, part of that, yes. that couple of blocks. Okay. Yeah, and, at the, and you're not you're not blocking off the the businesses yeah. in the downtown yeah. corridor for for that period of time. So. I think it's win-win for everybody. Well, there was some confusion yesterday as to whether or not the city was responsible for the change or your board at the Apple Harvest Festival when I was led to believe yesterday the city mandated the change. It's not a big deal, honestly, right. although for some who are along the route who maybe had a place where they viewed it might be a big deal, but there's a lot of other folks who were inconvenienced by that route who seem to be pretty happy it's been changed. There, there was a lively discussion. Let's just leave it at that. But in the end... Well, there's nothing wrong with having a lively discussion. Yeah. I mean, that's not a bad thing. But the city did not mandate anything. Yeah, we get blamed for everything, so that's okay. Rightly so. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like there's a little bit more in there you might want to discuss. Go ahead. I'll just sit back and uh, relax and enjoy the rest of it there. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Kevin, in regards to the new council and, and your relationship with them, is that, uh, has that evolved some new folks on there and, and such? And I know Corey Roman is, uh, is no longer part of that council. What's that dynamic been like? It's been great. I mean, Heidi Heidi Gibbons Crawford has uh, brought a lot to the table. Uh, you know, her 
uh, she's new. She's the only new one that we have, so it's a really don't have to mm-hmm. get to know anybody. And um, and you know we, uh, at least I could say that I've known her for a while. And and you know she is Chief Gibbons' sister, so she she's very familiar with the city and what the city's needs are. Yeah. All right. So uh, from a budget standpoint, have you found that the one percent sales tax has been a pretty steady stream of consistent income, or does it uh, actually bump up a little bit each year with the economy? It does fluctuate. Uh, fluctuates depends on you know construction going on and other things happening within the city. Yeah. yeah so let's let's talk about that too, because it's allowed the city to do some things that you might not otherwise have been able to do had you not had it. Can you address some of those things? Sure. I mean, uh, there's a lot. Of, if you go back to when we didn't have the one percent sales tax, and we had the the other uh, BNO that we had taken off, that um, we weren't able to do a lot of the projects that we're doing today. Um, and I think uh, prior to this this uh, time here today, that we had a conversation that. Uh, uh, things are going well in the city. You know, we have uh, you know the underpass, and we have uh, well, we've we've done things on Martin Street, and we have a whole new lighting system and streetscape st- streetscape coming uh, as far as um, the downtown to to bring more light to the downtown. We we were able to continue to put funding away for uh, at the time for the uh, uh, police station and also for city hall and the department of public works to bring everything up to speed and 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 also our, our you know our, our water uh, quality is, is is very good we've we all of our treatment plants have been upgraded so if you were to take a look at where we're at compared to other cities even in the area as far as uh, supplying uh, uh, water and sewer that uh, those plants are have been brought up to speed we're not we don't we don't need to be continuing to we don't have to worry about any failures or anything at, at this point uh, and we're not uh, you know when when those big companies come in like American water um, we, we don't we don't need their money you know we we you know people people think the city is sitting on a, a lot of money we don't we 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 funnel that back into to the city for the the needs and the upgrades that need to be done and and you know, there's a lot of uh, lead piping in it that that needs to be addressed. So, you know, when we go into those projects like uh, the stormwater that we were talked about um, uh, with the monument, when they had those roads dug up, you, you keep in mind those sewer lines and water lines have probably been down there 70, 80 years. And so, while we had the streets open, we we were able to to take care of that. And and those are those are some of the funds that we we're able to use. And you were able to pay basically cash for those yeah, without having to bond them have, out? We don't have any bonds. Do you uh, you have no bonds whatsoever you're paying any interest on? None, no, make none that I know of. That's great. Nope, yeah. Just the I police. Uh, well, that's, that's a levy. Yeah. Uh, yeah the police levy, uh, which supplies, what, uh, four or five police officers. Right. Kevin, of your water lines, how many are lead lines? Do you have any idea? Uh, um, you know what? Uh, good question, but I, I believe quite a few, Bill, because... Uh, you know, we had a, a meeting last night uh, that we're going to be addressing uh, lines throughout the city where we have to, to fix them or replace them. Uh, so we're taking that piece by piece. We we did uh, we did something for Water Street. We passed a we we approved some funding for Water Street to change out some of those lines down there, yeah, which would probably be the yeah. the the oldest ones. That used to be the main street in town, and that was where the first electrical house was so i would imagine that there's a lot of that will you be able to access any of the uh money that we appropriate at the state level for water projects do you get state matches or grants we we do we do i mean uh one thing about andy blake is he's very very good at uh uh, getting uh, one putting them together and and andy's a person that doesn't lose he if he does he doesn't like it yeah you know when we that raise grant uh well although we didn't get the raise grant uh uh, we were highly, uh, highly recommended What's to. What's the raise grant? Raise Kevin? grant was to was for about twenty million dollars to fulfill the uh, the Creekside plan, the uh, Lake Thomas expand the trail, hook it up to Route Nine, and get it all done at one time instead of piece by piece by piece. And and uh, you know we were rated very high in that, but uh, this go round we didn't get it. But we were we were highly recommended to apply again and well hopefully that money that we just appropriated in special session the extra 100 million for water projects and things like that you get some of that you can get some of that yeah and and, and, yeah. A, and a lot of that like i said we're fortunately if we 
if we need it, we'd be looking for it. But right. we we've been keeping up with all of ours for a long time, so it's a yeah. With these lead lead pipes, there's two problems. One, of course, obviously the lead, but all these pipes do a lot, leak a lot. So you lose as much as fifty to sixty percent of your water available water just out of leakage. So replacing the pipes, you have the two advantages. And Bill, that's why I, I recommend I uh, having a well d drilled right by all the pipes where they're leaking water. It's yeah, free water. It, 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 but it's also uh, uh, tainted with lead as well. I don't mind that. It <laughs> yeah, adds flavor okay. as far that's as That's what the Romans yeah. said yeah, what, as well. <laughs> and look what happened to them, Rob. Hey, a couple of questions from uh, our, our uh, audience there or, or points. Uh, it's time for more park uh, improvements on the west side. It's time for an event center. And Brad Knowles says, I really enjoy pushing that 1% sales tax. Brad, that's because I don't live in the city, baby. So anyway. <laughs> let's go. Uh, hey, Brad, they all love to push that. So. Parks, parks improvements on the west side and uh, an event center. What do you think long term? Well, I mean, right now uh, we just purchased uh, uh, the old Bolts uh Hardware. hardware that we purchased that property there so we're looking to possibly putting a little pocket park there and and uh, we just you'll there'll be new eight new pickleball courts ready to be played on for this weekend they're finished down on uh, baltimore street so um that, that boat's property is an ideal situation but it's very small right well, what can that's, you do with a pocket park? well you know you know with a with a pocket park you could you could put uh you know, a little seating areas and have uh, maybe even a, even a little garden there for a community garden. But uh, there, in in that ward at this point, Ward Two, which I used to represent, and I still do. But um, there's no parks at all, and so it's the only ward that does not. No have parks. Park. Yeah. So we're gonna start maybe somewhere. Maybe a pavilion. Well, you know, there's there's a lot. Of, uh, what what I've asked I've asked the uh, that Ward Two has the only neighborhood association in the city. Yeah. Right. And they meet and, and they you do started. a lot of great yes, and they do they do a lot of great things, and I've challenged them to come up with some thoughts and ideas of what they'd like to see in their neighborhood. You know, we also just purchased the property down off of uh, Spring Street, the old Legion property that's adjacent to the um, to the Frog Hollow Trail, which is across from where we had our dedication uh, the other day for for our elected officials and. Uh, there's there's poss there's going to be a, some type of a park system put in there also. Very good. A minute left. Is there anything you want to cover that you didn't get a chance? Well, to? I, I I do. I want to I want to cover that we had a dedication the other day on Frog Hollow Trail. There's a, a, a memorial uh, uh, area there for all of our elected officials that passed away in, in office, and uh, it totals 54 years of service that they gave to this city. Uh, and you had Harriet Johnson, you had uh, Roger Lewis, you had. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Baker and you had Max uh, Parkinson, so it was a very nice event, and it was nice to be able to recognize all four of those for the services that they've given to the city. Very nice, Kevin. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming in on the moving day here. We appreciate it. Yep.